from the Balkan Forum. Welcome to the BF Podcast. As usual, let us start with the positive headlines from our region. Bilateral cooperation. The independent Balkan news agency writes that Greece and Serbia in their bilateral meeting have confirmed that two countries will strengthen their cooperation. This is the sideline of Thessaloniki summit 2018. In the meeting between the two prime ministers of the countries, it was discussed about bilateral and regional issues and different successful initiatives. The two countries have finalized the date of the Supreme Cooperation Council between Greece and Serbia, which will be held on December 21st. Total Montenegro News writes that the Montenegrin Chamber of Economy is organizing a presentation of the country's businessmen within the national stand of the forthcoming 25th International Fair 2018 to be held in Tirana, Albania. The Montenegrin producers will have the opportunity to present their production programs at the national stand of Montenegro. This will open doors for new markets and potential cooperation. Greece. Ekaterini reports that Greek exports to the country's traditional trading partners increased over the first nine months of the year. Italy remains the top destination for the Greek exports, while Turkey climbed to the second place from fourth last year. The export products include fuel, industrial and agricultural products. Albania. The independent Balkan news agency reports that Albania has signed the agreement for maintenance of the Trans-Adriatic Pipeline system in the Albanian territory. The agreement was signed between the state-owned company Alpgas and the Italian company SNAP. The Minister of Infrastructure and Energy in Albania has considered this agreement important for the future of the country. Croatia. The Balkan News Agency reports that Croatia has collected more than three tons of waste cooking oil. Croatian INA, a medium-sized European oil company, a year ago has launched a social responsible profile which launched an environmentally friendly pilot project to dispose to use cooking oil at 30 retail locations. With the public's help, INA has collected 3 million tons of waste cooking oil in its first green service campaign. Thus, the collected waste cooking oil is recycled rather than poured down the drain and into the environment. Montenegro. Total Montenegro News says that tourism institutions and agencies participated at the 22nd Fair of Tourism and Catering, called Autumn Fair, held in Banja Luka. Present in the fair were tourism organizations from Budva, Kotor, Tivat and Herzeg Nove. The interest of Bosnia tourists from Montenegro was high. The fair was followed with a lot of public and media interest. Croatia. Total Croatia News writes that the big EU investments continue to flourish in Croatia. The recent investments will be in Primoj Groski Kotar County and is worth 150 million kruna. This investment will contribute to the development of tourism in the country and it continues to keep the country's tourism offer competitive. Bosnia and Herzegovina. Sarajevo Times writes that more than 1 million tourists have visited Bosnia and Herzegovina in the period of time from January to September of 2018. This fact represents an increase of 12.4% of overall visits. Albania. The Albanian Telegraphic Agency reports that the National Geographic has reported and will invest on the Nivita project as a new form of promotion of tourism. This is a new model of sustainable tourism in Albania. The project includes the promotion of two small villages in Albania and it aims to connect them with the rest of the country. Nivica is a small mountainous village that is filled with antique beliefs that even the religion was not able to change. People there believe still in the blue eye, the same trees and fairies. Croatia N1 reports that Croatia has been ranked 21st in the United Nations 2018 Sustainable Development List. This report measures countries' progress in meeting the goal of 2030 Agenda for the Sustainable Development. Croatia is ranked 21st out of 155 nations, moving up 15 places from the first list reported in 2016. This is all from us for this eighth collection. Follow us again next week. Until then, be good.